Hello everyone, your day weather podcast on this Wednesday, May 25th, 2022 is being brought to you by Cowboy State News Daily. Cowboy State Daily has more original news content than any other news organization in the state. Check them out at CowboyStateDaily.com, sign up for the daily email newsletter, and also check them out on their Facebook page. As we roll through the second half of the week, looking good, but I tell you, if there was any way we could make the three-day weekend start today, that would be good because the next three days will bring sun and much warmer temperatures our way. Not much rain in the forecast as well as the systems that's been around since really Friday have finally moved out and high pressure is going to move in. However, a cooling trend this weekend through Memorial Day with showers, thunderstorms, and mountain snow looking likely. Now, this is there's going to be a contrast for folks who watch this podcast in the central and southern Rockies and the central and southern plains. You're going to stay warm through Monday. For the northern Rockies, the northern plains, the Pacific Northwest, central and northern California, Utah, the northern Great Basin, you're going to cool off. So there's going to be a contrast in this region. A variety of weather's coming for the holiday weekend for those states and areas listed below. So we'll need to kind of be prepared as you make your plans to be outdoors this weekend and your travels for some unsettled weather. Look at the cloudiness that is extensive across Kansas, the Midwest, into the Corn Belt. This is the area of low pressure that basically had been around the western United States all the way back to late last week and is now bringing rain with areas of high pressure building into the inner mountain west here. And you can see that on the satellite photo and also when you look at the 500 millibar chart with that low swinging east, here's that high pressure ridge coming in off the west coast. This is going to slide in and bring us the good weather that's coming over the next 72 hours. By Friday, southwest winds aloft bring air out of the deserts into the front range and high plains, so it's going to really warm up. There'll be some 80s and low 90s in some areas on Friday. But you can see that low off of Vancouver Island making further track south and east. And look at this. This is Friday morning. This is Sunday morning. So you can see there's a big push of that low coming south into the Pacific Northwest. Why? Because high pressure is building up into the Gulf of Alaska. This is what happened late last week. So that displaces the low and wants to move it southeast. By Monday afternoon, it's just going to meander across western Utah. This counterclockwise spin in this pocket of cool, moist air is just going to hang around the Intermountain West late in the weekend and likely through the middle of next week. This is the precipitation forecast through next Wednesday morning. So this is over the next seven days. Couple of highlights here. Look at Montana. Montana really needs more rain, especially in this area right up here. And there's a really good chance over the next week for some good rainfall amounts. Look at that. that there's one to two inches or more potential there. Good precipitation in the Pacific Northwest. And then you can see, this is a common theme this spring, you get along in south of I-70, not much action through the middle of next week as there's really definitely going to be a change in the weather up here to colder weather, but staying warm here and the dividing line kind of goes like this over the next five days. And yep, it's going to snow. Look at the potential for snow up into the Beartooth Mountains, the Wind River Mountains, the Yellowstone Plateau, the Tetons. Look at the Wasatch and the Uintas have the potential for getting snow up high and then back into the mountains of Idaho and Montana and back into the Pacific Northwest. Even the high Sierra is going to get a little bit of snow out of this. So if you're going to go into the high country this weekend, especially Sunday, Monday into Tuesday, you get up around eight, 9,000 feet or higher, you're going to get snowed on with this pattern change this weekend. Now let's step you through the temperatures. Just find where you're going to be this weekend on the map and you'll see where those temperatures are going to be the warmest and where they're going to be the coolest. So this is for tomorrow afternoon. So by Thursday afternoon, it really warms up. This is Friday, even warmer. This is Saturday. You can see an encroachment by Saturday of that cooler wear into the Pacific Northwest, into Idaho, into Northern and Central California, up into Montana and Western Wyoming. While it's still going to be pretty warm Saturday out here on the plains, by Sunday, the colder air gets pushed down into northern Colorado. Really cool weather, relative to average, back into Washington, Oregon, Idaho, into northern, Cal even southern California. Going to cool off by Sunday. By Monday, there's kind of a stalemate. The boundary between the mild and the cool goes just about like this. 
for Memorial Day Monday. So if you're south of that black line, you're going to be warm. You're northwest of that black line, you're going to be quite cool for Memorial Day Monday. And those are some pretty cool temperatures relative to average. You know, we're looking at the last day of May here. Last two days of May, Monday and the Tuesday, some really cool air. Over the next 10 days, these are the temperature anomalies. And you can see how cool it's going to be across the west all the way up through the 3rd of June. Now, this is going to average in the very warm weather coming the next three days. So quite warm the next three days. And the next five, six days after that, we go back into reverse. So June is going to be off to a very cool start. I'm going to talk more about La Nina tomorrow, but I'm going to kind of give you a teaser. There's a lot to show you on the sea surface temperature map for the Pacific Ocean. We still see the robust La Nina holding on right here, holding its own as we get into late spring and early summer. But I want you to notice the cooler sea surface temperatures that are showing up off the coast of California, the Pacific Northwest, and the Baja, and also this area of warmer sea surface temperatures here. We are going to be talking about what La Nina looks like for the rest of the spring, summer, fall season, but also talk about how the sea surface temperatures right here may impact how the summer monsoon season goes in the Intermountain West and the Desert Southwest. More on that tomorrow. Have yourself a great Wednesday. We'll see you Thursday.